Hey guys, welcome back. Scott Matthews, another video on building the Aerodrome Aeroplanes, full size, Sopwith Camel, Rotec 2800 powered. Let's see how it runs. All right guys, so a bit reluctant to do this video to be honest, but anyway, it is what it is. All the way through, I've just called things the way they are. Um, Got the aircraft ready. Last video we had some fuel leaks to deal with. I dealt with those, uh, filled it up with oil, um, checked everything I could. The only thing I couldn't check was the ignition. I'm sort of, when I do my wiring, um, if I make an earth lead and connect it, I'll put the multimeter on, because I know it'll bite you on the bum sometime in the future. So take my time and check everything even a pump just give it a quick flick even though it's dry or uh yeah the the pumps and that sort of thing quick flick so you know you've got signs of life i call it um it's got power and it's going to work and it didn't didn't pop the circuit breaker so we're all set to go the only thing i couldn't check um well didn't didn't research it's all in the book um was the ignition i thought it'd, it'd either fire or it wouldn't so uh, probably a week or so ago now, pushed the aircraft outside, tied it down, pretty nervous. Um, long story short, cranked the engine over several times, no ignition. And you get into that situation where you, you know, start pulling things apart, um, whack the multimeter on, check is this thing on, have I got power, and then you've got fuel dripping out of the carb or out of the TBI. Um, trying to start it at more than half throttle. Uh, I'm cranking the engine, trying to prime it, so fuel's going everywhere. Take the plugs out, is it uh, flooded? Went through all that, like, like a dodgy old lawnmower, if you like. Um, and hit the books, so two or three days of fault finding. Um, Cause I've got, what I have got is two completely independent electronic ignition systems the only thing common is the battery and it's pretty easy to see you got power at the battery um, went right through that thinking it's something i've done that uh yeah it can't possibly be two modules or two coils or what else is there modules the coils or the harness i had the harnesses if you if you've been watching I had the ignition harnesses sent up later, um, only a couple of weeks ago. So this engine hasn't been capable of running for only since the last few months. Um, ring for support, tech support, and you know, I've checked the harness, did all the pins and everything like that. But in the back of my mind, I'm thinking they can't both be, well, either the harness was wrong twice or I've got you know, two dodgy, like I said, two dodgy coils or two dodgy modules or a one module, one coil, but the chance of that happening at the same time, um, nothing worked. Anyway, um, looking for, talking to people around the airfield, one of the guys was flying down to Tyab. So after I got off the phone, I came back, um, took out both ignition systems, so the harness, the coils, and the modules all went in a bag. This was on a Friday, and kind, someone was kind enough to fly them down to Rotec for me. Uh, I wasn't there, but I believe I had the wrong modules, um, which is great. So we'll just fit the new modules and get on with it. That's where we're up to now. It's freezing in the hangar today, so I'm having my coffee with you guys. Um, so I've recently just fitted the new modules um, it passes the spark test yeah you can sh put a spark plug on the i use the exhaust pipe so on earth and you can trick it into firing the spark plug which wasn't happening before now i've got spark however i've found another um, this is where i've got to be very careful with what i say and my choice words um, i found an issue and i'm dealing with it that's where we're at i don't want to really talk about it um, but I just wanted to let you guys know that's where I'm at at the moment. So I'm going to move on and do something fun and 
finish the airframe side at this stage. So we'll get something done. All right, she's up on her wheels, nice and pretty. Lots of oil dripping out, which is a radial. You see I've still got everything tied back, ready for a run. Uh, let's just get it out of the system. It's not gonna be run for a while. So, um, what can we do? I'm going to make a, because I was hopping in and out of the aircraft, so I had, a, I had two batteries with me as well. The battery that's fitted to the aircraft is great, but you get about three or four 10 second cranks, I guess, which is a lot, because on a good day, it should fire straight up. Um, and that battery has turned out fine. I can just smell smoke, actually. So, uh, climbing in and out of the aircraft, getting it covered in dirt like this, um, standing on the seat in the gravel outside, um, sort of made me think of a few things that I need to do. I'm going to put some anti-skid on here, and I'll make a uh, like a horseshoe, if you like, just to protect the fabric, um, and we'll screw that on. So I might do that job now. The turtle deck, I will. Um, at least I've got, I've got two bits of, uh, what is it, 1200 by 900 maybe? I think I need a 1200 square. So I'll, I'll butt join two bits together and give that a day or two to dry before I cut out the actual template shape. Now the GoPro's playing up again. So turtle deck, I'm gonna butt join the two bits of wood together and cut out my template. But to do that, I'll put the side panels back on. I think I can potentially do that now. Um, it was handy just to be able to reach in here. I need the side panel on to be able to finish the, the top off. Um, worst case, I can take the panels back off but it was handy to be able to lean in uh, and do everything. I, obviously, I didn't start it from the outside. I hopped in and put the seat belt on, did it properly. Um, yeah. Oh, one thing I did note, I need to go around and I'll put some better, uh, um, ma uh, what do you call it, double-sided tape on the little uh, tags that I made because I did actually flick them off. But she got a good workout. <laughs> The prime, prime worked fine, uh, and everything was good. So, we'll get on with those couple of jobs. I'll make the, the kick plate, if you like, and I've got some 3M sort of super duper double-sided tape. I think I'll just use that. But I like them nice and square, so I'll have to jig it all up again. All right, template time. That's my foothold. Cut out a ply block, aluminium stirrup. Now I'm gonna try and tap that down gently to form a nice tucked in edge. Hopefully, we'll give that a go. All right, in order to get a bit of confidence back, we, um, yeah, let's call that the pie tin. I need to just trim that up now. That'll be around my foothold nice i got the cheap aluminium from Bunnings. well not cheap the low quality aluminium from bunnings because it's soft and it stretches nicely just tap that around with the ball peen hammer yeah clean that up i'll trim that edge i don't it doesn't need to be that big now and get it to fit a couple of self or well, self tappers beautiful the self-tappers will go into the wood on the back, which I'd put there for the covering, but it'd be nice. <clears throat> All right, just doing what's in my control at the moment. So I've put the, um, what I call anti-skid, it's like 80 grit sandpaper, stuck on there. It's got a good flange underneath. We'll see how, see how that lasts. Should be all right. I've drilled my, drilled my holes, polished this up, now I will screw that on and uh, tap the edges around. I've given them a bit of a head start already. What I find 
you can't tap it on the job you need to go past where you need to be if that makes sense because it won't it needs to flex back so we're pretty close now happy with that and that'll be that little job taken care of if I uh, sound a bit slow and boring guys I'm well, I'm feeling a bit purple to be honest as you can imagine I've edited about six or seven videos so far but anyway right there was a time when I was going to paint that on I actually tin tapped it around up the back as well so it's yeah I reckon it's great it's one of those things that when you're up close you know but you're going to look from back here um, and the old size 11 still fits in there so tick move on I worked out what I'm going to call it it's the camel toe I just made the camel toe nice all right guys as you can probably see behind me I got a few issues um, I'm not going to go into it so I've been trying to get videos out and that sort of thing um, I'll deal with what's happening here and let you know the outcome when I do a ground run I guess and we'll continue to build down the back I've tried about five or six times now to do a bit of a video um, it's a bit hard to ignore what's going on down the front and try and uh, sell you guys short and pretend nothing's going on and build the rest of the plane but that's what I'm going to do um, we'll continue on I think I got some tidbits uh, previous to this that I'll put up but just wanted to mainly jump online and let you know that I'm sticking at it still going uh, but from about there and back we'll keep building enjoy all right it's pretty windy today it's the noise you can hear my little scavenge pump trophy mounts didn't last too long so I've put on a 3m double-sided tape to cover 100% of the uh, the tags uh, so they'll get stuck on a lot better haven't done these top ones but they've got a lot more surface area so I'm just having a bit of a tidy up I'm thinking now of putting the side panel on and make the rear turtle deck and I keep saying it add some turnbuckles up the top there without pulling the aircraft out of rig um, really nice finish on this but I do still want to do the wood and I just I don't want to fang out the self tappers as I go so the wood will come down I might try and Clico silver Clico it all on um, and then basically just do each screw individually well it's got to come off doesn't it to, to enlarge the um, the upper layer the finished piece enlarge those holes um, I'll probably try and uh, you know countersink them I've got some little brass screws there the only good ones I could find were all the countersink ones like for cupboards and that sort of thing um, also when my butt slides over it I'm not going to uh, tear myself a new one and yeah see how that holds up once I cut it out then I can finish the anchor nuts on these pieces here you know it all ties in if you remember back <coughs> then the final piece will be the sock around the cockpit which will be nice I've got no leaks apart from what's dripping on the floor um, from the firewall forward but back here is all looking good stay positive move on all right guys I'll try and make some sort of video out of the tidbits that, I, that I've got there and uh, remove all the expletives I guess uh, as you can imagine time to go fishing I'll tell you if you catch any on the next video thanks for watching <laughs>